I remember the Prophet and his family and the things that the Prophet did and the struggles that he took to become the Prophet and lead all these people in this way. When I hear Hazrat Zahra's name, I feel like, like trying to defend something, trying to defend your religion, like always doing the good thing and like risking your life for the right thing. I kind of remember the Prophet and Imam Ali and Imam Hassan because they were all a big group, a family. When I think about Hazrat Zahra, I think about Prophet Muhammad because he was her father. The first thing that I think about Hazrat Zahra is about the Imams and how she sacrificed like all of her life for Islam, how she dedicated her life to Islam. I think about uh, uh, Prophet Muhammad and all the struggle he had and the people then believed that he was God's messenger and uh, and people bothered him a lot and all. When I hear Hazrat Hizaha's name, I think of a woman in Islam who was pious and truthful and helped a lot of people. When I think of Hazrat Fatima's name, uh, I think of the events that happened in Fatimiyya. How, uh, how after a prophet died, uh, Farak was given to Hazrat Fatima, but unfortunately it was taken away. And when she tried to receive it back, she couldn't. And it was just a really corrupt time, which Hazrat Fatima was betrayed really badly. Stories of Hazrat Fatima. When I think of Hazrat of Fatimah, well, I think of like how women truly did have a say in it, and she was living proof of that. She she showed that hey, men men aren't the aren't like the dominant gender, or they don't have the final say in everything. And I mean, it's it's amazing to me seeing like 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 how much of an influence she had as a woman. Well, I think about how she was the best of all women and how she's the best role model, not just for women, but also for men. And how gracious, pious, caring, and how, how much she would promote equality. And promoting equality is one of the m most important things in Islam, especially in between like children, how she was very, very, like she treated her children equally. And um, also, uh, we can't forget at the point how she was the only daughter of the prophets. She's Sayyidatim Nisa al Alameen, woman of all the worlds. Um, I also think about um, how much patience she had, so that she had to go through all that hardship, but she still persevered to the very end. So, yeah, and she's a role model for all women in the world. When I think of Hazrat Fatima to Zahra, I think of the greatest woman that ever lived in the world. Fearless. Strength. Dedication. Amazing. She's a role model for mankind. Carrie. <laughs> Oh, my dear, I'm just
بهشت احمد بود گل همیشه بهاری باغ محمد بود همیشه بهاری باغ محمد نور جلی یار علی هستیه حیدر آمد نور جلی یار علی هستیه حیدر آمد ماه آلم این آمد مادر حسین آمد ماه آلم این آمد مادر حسین آمد You could give her flowers or even more special things, but usually I give flowers or I make stuff for her, like little frames of our pictures in it. Um, doing what she says. A card or just some something that makes it makes this special to me. Um love and love be nicer. Yatna Zahra Biya 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 Yatna Zahra Biya 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 Yatna Zahra Biya 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 Biya